Hello everyone, welcome back again. This is Amir Mohammad Shah Savarani from IO Framework team. As we have previously told you, IOA resembles ASP.NET unique architecture and is a ready to use template for ASP.NET Core uh, with which you can make easier your back end and front end at the same time with the use of fabulous marvelous ASP.NET in these series of videos we are just speaking about the uh, .NET 8 version of our IOA framework we just spoke in the previous videos about installing, downloading, setting up the database and we have started to discuss the layers within our IOA framework. Let's continue to this. In the last section, we've just spoken <clears throat> about domain entities layers, as you remember. In this video, we want to discuss with each other the next, the second layer, infrastructure layer. Infrastructure layer in IOA framework has three sub layers, namely common, data layer, and infrastructure. In our common layer, or better say sub layer, as you can see, we just have general issues that you have uh, already may found out interestingly that uh, we don't uh, have too much to deal with this common sub layer because we are just putting all the things we use generally in all other layers of our io framework project both for end and front Okay, you can see that, uh, for example, in base utilities, we do have some um, property cache, property reflector, type property, and const. We do have uh, a resource of const here, API version, AP app setting, area const, um, and so forth. Enums that we use. Uh, uh, you know, fairly wide in our project in all layers and exceptions. We have just spoken about it in each class and uh, divided it into subclasses here. Extensions, we do use it and tools, tools, config tools, uh, as you can see. Okay, the settings, the config for the JSON and XML. Uh, and the last part of it is security, encryption helpers, GID, security helper, and token helpers, and timestamp helpers. Uh, please keep in mind that common layers uh, include general issues and expectations, and we do not uh, work with it all the time. It's a sort of repository for our uh, basic files that we use widely in our uh, layers. For example, we can say uh, it includes general stuff which would be used and implemented uh, in all other uh, places and domains of this project depending on your business. Uh, and keep in mind, please, that you can also add up as many issues, folders, subdomains, classes, and files as you want or may need. And all of these are depending on your project size, project type, and your business. Um, just please do use these sort of classification in our order so that we both can communicate and can have a better understanding about our project structure uh, so that we can have a sort of clean architecture okay 
This was for our first part common. The next sub layer in uh, infrastructure is called data layer. In data layer, as you can see, <coughs> uh, we're just dealing and communicating with database. And uh, one issue that shall be noted here is uh, in our free evaluation version, uh, Dapper is not included here. In data layer uh, but in our full version dapper uh, would be added here and you can see it um, in this free version we using entity framework core and uh, solely we use this in our free evaluation version however in fact telling you the truth we have made all of our Mm -hmm. issues and we have met all our needs in our businesses uh, up to now with just uh, using any different work core and we recommend you uh, not to um, further you know uh, complexify your project but uh, everything depends on your business and on your policy in your system then we do have uh, the direct extensions here as you can see these are just uh, some preset issues the migrations here and uh, so that we have some configuration tools for configuring database uh, data seeding for seeding the data how can we use it and uh, db context configuration which are all known and we can customize all these issues for your own business and we can tailor everything that you wanted in your project okay uh, so this was the second sub layer we call it data layer okay we can close it and our third sub layer infrastructure is named uh, infrastructure exactly infrastructure layer and the sub layer infrastructure infrastructure sub layer here is used to uh, provide with infrastructures for commands pipelines queries and reports for our business as you may have seen here the uh, we have made and put major and essential um, issues for commands, pipelines, queries, and reports, uh, and transactions just here. <clears throat> for example, in command, you can see the handlers, okay? Or in pipeline behaviors, you can see two well attributes which resembles the uh, attribute of uh, logging for audit database and full audit uh, log inputs outputs login logouts and transaction attributes uh, and its behaviors you see all these uh, like we do have here for behaviors uh, if we wanna take a deeper look let's see for example in our bas application we can see here in commands okay we can make it for example in common handler let's see again in common handler counting if we do have here i think yes and as you can see uh, the tag transaction here okay or in update we do not have a tag and here I think in okay we don't have the tag I wanted to show you for example the audit log you can see audit log transact log here in insert transactions all of them refer here to the pipeline behaviors as you can see audit log transaction and uh, we will speak about these um, details later and if you want 
to make any change in these details we are at your side we can help you do this together okay friends we have done in this video for speaking about the second layer infrastructure and uh, please do leave your comments and do not hesitate uh, if any issues arose please contact us and let us know what you want thank you for being with us see you on our next video